Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. Today I am going to explain you about edit user and delete user. So in this video we will see how we can edit these user and delete any user from database. In the last video we have seen like how we can add a user. We have seen a form validation. We have seen try catch database transactions. If you have not watched that video you can click on the i button and watch the video. So let's get started. The very first thing we see here is we have listed the users in the table. We need an edit button for each user present in the table. So what we'll do, we'll go into code. Here's the list. So we'll add a new column, call it action, and give them button ref for now let's leave it blank give it a class button button primary I'm using bootstrap for that so I'm using all the bootstrap classes for buttons and then inside button let's add a font for from font awesome for and save it let's go fafa pencil is the hot pen all right so the edit button is here now what we'll do we'll link this to edit root let's print the root php artisan root list as we have resource for users what we'll see for edit there is a users dot edit root available which accept user as an object in a root so what we'll do we'll go here in the list inside href we'll add root and give users dot edit and pass the user dollar user pointing to id all right so we have passed this ID there let's refresh this if I hover on this you can see on each hover we have an edit root let's go into the controller and for edit here we are editing this so the very first thing what we do we'll add a edit view file similar to what we have for add Let's quickly copy this add and inside users add a new file call it edit.blade.php and then paste all the add form we'll need to update some content here on the edit page so edit user back will be users.index that's correct uh, in, instead of add new we'll call it edit this is for storing a user but we are updating a user you can see here on the routes we have users.update so instead of store we will have to update this to users.update and what is the method for this you can see the method is put or patch so as we define the method as a post so what we have to do here blade method helper will do it as a put so it will consider this form method as a put all right so we have done this inside a name we have check we have to check if there is an old value of name we will print that old value of name otherwise what will be the value we will have this user object here and name of user object that's it what we'll do next uh, 
as you see user dot update has this user object in the url so what we have to pass here we have to pass user user id that's it on the email part similarly we have to check if there is any old value we will print the old value of email else what will print users email email instead of save we'll call it update right we are all set for edit form let's go into the controller once inside i edit let's find the user if user is equals to user where id is equals to dollar id first if we not got the user then it will return back with error message user not found and if we found the user what we'll do we'll return to view we have edit view users dot edit with we have to pass the user object here we have pass this user object save it import the view inside a view we can use this view function or we simply use the view helper all right we have used the view helper let's go into the code and see if we can load this click on the edit button yes as you see we can load the user this is the user we have edit form what next we have to update the update form for update function again what we have to do we have to validate everything so let's go into a store function let's copy everything from store and paste it here on update we have to do similar kind of thing for email we need this required required and instead of creating a user what we'll do we have to do update so for update we'll do a where clause inside a where clause we'll check for id which we are receiving in this id parameter and instead of create we'll call it update as we are not taking any input for password we'll only update name and email if there is any instead of create user we'll call it a update user if there is any error in update user we'll pass this error message if everything goes well we have passed this message user updated successfully and all set we are ready let's refresh this form let me test user one two three test one two three four five six let's update this user update is successfully you can see test user one two three test one two three four five six all right so user is updated successfully so our edit functionality is working perfectly let's update this update yeah that's updating so edit functionality is working fine next what we have to do we have to make a delete so let's go into the code inside list dot blade we have to and for deleting we have to use this delete users dot destroy so this is a delete method so what we have to do we have to make a simple form here 
and put it a method here method would be a post and you action will be root users dot destroy users dot destroy the next thing will pass the user and will pass this id inside the form what we'll do we'll add csr first and then method inside a method we have to put it as a delete method after that let's add a button here submit button we'll give it a class button button danger inside a button let's add a font give it a class for, for trash is the class for trash and the button would be type of button would be submit let's save it go to the page refreshes okay so this form is displaying here correctly what we next we have to do next is just to align these buttons for that what I we can do we can style this as a flex style display flex it will display okay what next we'll have to do what here we'll give us a margin of two for each buttons margin of two let's save it perfect it's looking great we have this destroy function so inside a destroy let's add a try catch first inside a try catch start a database transaction if any exception happen roll back and then we'll delete this user if, if there is any error while deleting the user what we'll do we'll return this return this back with an error message And with an error message what we'll call for error there's an error while deleting user all right before deleting returning what we have to do we have to roll back db roll back and everything goes well then we have to commit this and return a success message return redirect root users dot index with success with success what will the success user deleted successfully successfully let's test it do it delete the user user deleted successfully delete another user all right so it's working fine so as we have completed the edit and delete of this so user management module is completed here we have added a user we have edited that user deleted the user all the CRUD operation is done so what we'll do next we'll add some new feature in this and come up with a new video if you have any doubt in this crud operation of user management in laravel 8 you can ask your doubts on comment section and if you found if this video is informative for you please do subscribe this channel and i'm going to post many new features of laravel and advanced feature of laravel in the coming videos and come up with a mini series with laravel so stay connected Keep learning.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग